Damn. Oh. Is there a mark on my forehead? No. <laughs> that shit fucking hurt. Oh, dang, it's still, like, look at that. Just from sitting. So, you know, there's still oil in the court. All right, so you see how, like, it's scuffed up? Yeah. You get, so you get some paper, and then you just go at it one way, though, because you don't want to go the other way. Mm -hmm. You know, just work at it, clean off the surface. You know, it's a thousand grit, so it's not going to take off material, but it will, like, clean the surface. And you go at it for a good minute. You can use oil, you can lose you can use lube, anything. Break clean. Anything will work. It's better wet than dry. <laughs> go at it for a good bit. Cork. Alright, so after a while, you after you've scuffed it up for a good bit, you you wanna make sure you got something soft, like a microfiber. Wipe it off because you don't want to scratch it up again. There you go. Nice clean surface. All right, so when you're getting ready to put the bearing in, you also want to make sure it's nice and clean. Make sure your bearing. And then you want to get your preferred lube. lube. Fuck! Cut! <laughs> <laughs> So when you're getting ready to install the bearing, you get your preferred lube. Ours is Lucas. You already know. You know, lube up the cap. They're all on there. No such thing as using too much lube. And when you get the cap, you make sure this notch right here lines up with the notch on the cap. Put it on there, align it, push it up, in there. There we go. All right, so now we gotta polish the crank so that the fucking, the bearing has a smooth surface to spin on. So we got a thousand grit sandpaper. You gotta put it on there. You know, if you want, you can grab some tape. Just a little bit. And then you wrap it around, around. fuck. <laughs> Damn it. Anyways, <laughs> you get the sandpaper, you wrap it around completely, and then you want to stick the tape on there so that it's like nice and snug, and then you're going to want to grab like a shoelace or something to go around it, you know, because you can't get a fucking a sander on that bitch, or not a sander, a belt, yeah, a belt sander. So you wrap it around one time, go over it again, you know, to create a, a nice, and then you just spin, you know, pull, spin in the sandpaper, just like that. You can apply pressure. Sometimes you gotta work with it. You know, the best you're gonna get under the fucking, with the crankshaft still in the car, in the motor. You go at it for a good bit. Cut the video. All right, so when you sand it for a while, you're gonna wanna take it off. Oh yeah, you're gonna wanna grab your microfiber towel, but I forgot to grab one, so. I got one right here, actually. Wipe it clean. There you go. Look at it. Best you gonna get out of the truck. Stop right there. Look at it. Damn. Beautiful. That hole gonna get repoed tomorrow. <laughs> Oh shit, I'll start recording. <laughs> All right. Always lubricate. All around, this is the top one. 
and then since it's the top one, it's gonna be hard. So what I do is you just put it on the crank, and then you bring down the rod. I don't think they can see that. Take it. Tell me what you his name is. Nah, his name is like oh fuck. His name is like um. I don't know. Nobody really knows. They just know him for the kid who sags his pants like a dumbass. Get the video. <laughs> nah. All right, so now we got the top one. We want to make sure clean it up again. Alright, so for the rod cap, oh fuck. Put lube on there. Spread it out pretty good. Make sure the notch is facing where the other notch is at. Alright, so you put it on and have a bolt ready because it'll fall on you. So then, turn it a good bit. Still hold it up, just in case. Grab the other bolt, shove it in. Fuck. Turn it a good bit until you feel like it, and then grab your ratchet on. Mine would be a. Mine would be an eleven. 11 socket. Bolts. Little by little, you don't want too much pressure on one side. It'll cause bend on the crate. And you don't want it tight because you still got to torque it, so just snug, snug. And there you go. See, barely a little play, but that'll go away whenever you torque it. Alright, so you want to turn the motor until the next one. Turn it by the harmonic balancer. Next one we got to do is number two, this one right here. Yeah, that one's pretty, that one has a lot of input. So we gotta turn the whole. There we go. Number two is almost ready. Now straight to work on. There we go. All right, so what we found out about piston number one is that it has a upward play and, you know, sideward play is just normal. But this upward play is a lot. So what we're thinking of doing is adding thicker oil, probably like an oil additive too, some Lucas or something. But now we're gonna finish putting the girdle. And then after we put the girdle, we will put the oil pan. No, the pickup tube still. Oh yeah, the pickup tube and the oil pan.